Hey, good morning. It's Renee with Cancer Size with Renee for our Monday morning coffee chat. And I'm just checking in with you guys and seeing how um, you're doing. And just give you an update for the week for me. So um, some of you know I blog and I write a blog and I started the blog. Um, <clears throat> I started the blog as a safe place to talk about my uh, wanting to become a runner and not being very good at it, but I wanted to um, run this particular race faster than I've ever done it before and not really let anybody know that I had been training for it so I could surprise them and beat people that beat me all the time. And uh, so um, I started this blog over a year ago um, training for this particular race and talking about you know when I'd go out and run and how I would do and getting revenge on my body and you know I'm gonna be stronger and tougher or whatever and um, because nobody that I knew followed my blog it became my safe space to talk about the cancer when I got the diagnosis and I didn't want to tell anybody I gotta have my coffee sorry guys I have lipstick on and no lips on the rim of my coffee. Isn't that funny? It's not funny. It's cool. Best lipstick ever. My girlfriend sells it. Stays on. Makes you feel like you're a little bit color. Yes. I can't see. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, that's why I got the blog. I started the blog to talk about running and getting revenge and running and getting revenge. And then it turned into a real revenge of getting revenge on the cancer without anybody knowing it because nobody followed my blog. So the very few people that I actually knew followed it. I had followers, but nobody that I knew. And so it became a safe space to talk about the cancer. So now that I'm getting past, so now that I'm, you know, cancer free in remission, um, I'm still dealing with a lot of crap. And I know nobody knows what you're dealing with unless you've gone through it. And, um, changes in your body, changes in your um, mindset, changes in your physical part of your body, emotionals, I don't know, it's a mess. Anyway, so my blog's been kind of my safe space for that, but it's more public now, so more people um, see it. And uh, so I tend to bear my feelings a little more in there, and I'm a little more raw and honest in there, probably not as honest probably don't think I'm honest with anybody truthfully about where my head's at, but I am a little more honest in my blog because I can write a little better about it. But anyway, um, my son and I were talking last night and he was encouraging me to actually write an, an online book at least. So I might look into doing that. That might be one of my new goals. So, um, and I don't know, we'll see. I don't think I'm this fantastic writer, but I feel like it helps me. So, if I can do something online and do an e-line book, and it's fairly simple, my husband, my son said it's a very simple process, and anybody can get themselves published like that. So it might make me feel good, like I've accomplished something. So I don't know, it might be something I'll be doing this new year. Um, this is we've done today will be day 29 or 30 of our cancer size workout. So I'm sticking to that goal of doing the 10 minutes a day workout until January 15th. I have not yet once been to the gym like I wanted to do, but uh, I will get there. Although my neighbors did get a elliptical, and they're going to put it down in the basement and so I can use it because they're going to be leaving town here pretty soon for a couple months. So I can use that if I can't get up over to the, oh, good morning, thank you. And if I can't get over to the uh, gym, which apparently I'm having a hard time doing. So uh, Christmas was good. Um really didn't try to stress ourselves out this year. Um, we had a lot to celebrate because of being in remission. And um, and we're here together as a family. Oh, Kim, I missed you guys too. It was different, but we really enjoyed having the three of us. We really liked it. Um, and I cooked a Rachel Ray Christmas, so I had no idea what I was going to do. And you guys know I always feel like I need to do something different um, all the time, try new things. So I made a rack of lamb, and all of them were from Rachel Ray cookbooks. I did a rack of lamb, a Brussels sprout salad with uh, pancetta and cranberries, 
did a cornbread stuffing with sage and pancetta, did a uh, latkes, latkes, which were really good. It took me a while to figure out how to get the frying part of it down. Um, did this creamy polenta with um, prosciutto in it. I don't know. It was really good. Everything turned out really good. Uh, I've never cooked lamb before. It was very intimidating. Um, <clears throat> but it was fun, and my son helped me, and we just spent an hour in this little tiny kitchen back and forth just doing all these recipes and laughing and, you know, joking around. Well, that's the traditional Jewish way is to throw the food on the floor because we dropped, we made messes. We dropped shredded potatoes on the floor and had to throw that away. And he's like, we totally just, you know, that's the new tr Jewish tradition. So we just... We laughed so hard. We played Yahtzee for an hour, the three of us, and we cracked up and had a lot of fun. And uh, it was such an easy and relaxed Christmas. We didn't have to worry about getting out on the icy roads. Um, my friends posted all their videos yeah, from and pictures from where we always normally go. And so it was good. It kind of felt like I was there anyway, so because I recognized everybody. So thanks for that, Kim. And uh, anyway, so that was good. So Christmas was pretty relaxing. Um, yeah, I've uh, been struggling with a lot of aches and pains and uh, joint pain and stuff like that. And um, side effects of the meds. Um, struggling with some mental stuff. My husband did some research too and just to prove to me that I'm not crazy. He found some really good articles that I read that kind of brought comfort that it's not all in my head. And it's just a part of the process. And I think the further I get out from the diagnosis, the better it gets, I hope. That's what I've been told. So, because one, one of my friends that commented on my blog said four years ago she felt the exact same way I did, but it gets better. So I'm looking forward to it getting better and to be less and less of a thing in your head. Um, enjoying my coffee, yes. My husband and I are gonna go get some breakfast this morning and run some errands because he's getting ready to leave town, so we got a lot of stuff to do for him. Um, but I had the day off of work, and then it goes to crazy work time because we only work four days, and then it goes nuts because we have to make up for the day we missed. So it's all good. It's fun. Um, yeah, so that's it. I had a rough time physically. My joints and stuff, like I said, were acting up. I'm having a lot of bone aches that are starting from the middle of the bone, which I can't explain unless you've experienced it. But it's tough. I've uh, been crying a lot, very emotional because of the pain and the uncomfortableness of being able to stand up and sit down. All part of the process. Apparently, it's all part of the side effects. Um, yeah, I got some lovely Christmas presents. I have a lot of people who think of me. That's very sweet and kind. Um, got to see my son very happy with his Christmas, and that always makes me happy. My girlfriend's cookies showed up from Arizona, so that's wonderful, and they're gone already. Sorry, Kim. And uh, Kim made me cookies, too. And yeah, just, it was a good week. It was a good week. So I hope you guys had a good week. I hope you had a good holiday. If you're celebrating Hanukkah, I hope you're, you know, whatever your part of your celebration you're into is going well, and that you're enjoying it and recognizing the reason for the season for your celebration. Um, yeah, so I am going to work out today, so we, we won't miss a day, okay? Um, and yeah, going to try getting on my friend's elliptical because driving to the gym is not fun with these streets. And that's my new goal. Oh, and I might write a book. That was the other recap that we might do. And going to go out for breakfast and have some nice coffee with my husband today <clears throat> and enjoy this day off and maybe kind of get the house cleaned up. So I will see you guys in a week. It'll be a new year when we start, when next time we have coffee. Anyway, I'll see you today for the workout. But when we have coffee together again, it'll be one week and it'll be the new year. So we'll talk about if you guys did New Year's resolutions or anything. So anyway, you guys have a good morning. Happy Monday morning coffee talk with you. Thank you for joining me. And I love you. And I'll see you later. Bye.